Good morning guys. So I'm doing my weight loss update a little different this morning. Um, no makeup. I just got done with my workout. This is the result and I'm sure my back is pretty pretty wet too. Um, I did not get into the gym. I didn't get a workout in for four days now which is I think the longest I've gone without a workout since I started back in January. It was just some days was my fault and other days was just schedule. I'd had no time. Um, and so it felt really good to get back into the workout today. I ended up doing just over two hours. Um, it was like two hours and 20 minutes. And I worked out hard <laughs> for a lot of that. I felt like I was going to throw up <laughs> because I was, I was really working myself hard to try to just feel better after those four days off. Um, and part of it was having four days off. It's just harder. I ended up leaving the gym pretty much skipping out of that place. It is a beautiful morning. It's dark right now because the sun is behind the trees in our backyard. But it's a completely blue sky. It rained overnight. Um, so it's cooler. And the birds are chirping. It's just, it's a beautiful day. And I started reading a book. Um... For, I'm going to start a Wednesday night women's, uh, we call them growth groups at our church. We signed up for these groups. This one is six weeks long. Every Wednesday night we'll meet and we're going to discuss this book. Um, and it's just a nice way to make friends within your church community. Sunday mornings are usually, you know, rushed and you don't have a lot of time to sit and chit chat and meet new people. So that's why we do these growth groups and it's really nice. I really enjoy it. We're actually starting another one today, too, that will be me and the girls, so it's a mom play date. Um, so it's just fun, and it gives us something to do during the week. But the book we're doing is called Made to Crave. Uh, I had never heard of this book before, and I'm only two chapters into it, and I think this had a lot to do with my awesome attitude coming out of the gym. It just, it renewed my energy this morning. It, it, I'm really going to enjoy this book. Um, a lot of what it said just kind of um, reminded me of what my journey has been about this time and I don't know how much I've shared on YouTube. I know when I was making videos for Facebook I shared a lot more about this but this journey um, for weight loss for me the biggest main key point is my relationship with God and turning to God for help in this weight loss journey um, and this book is all about made to crave we were made to crave but we should be craving God and not food uh, makes a lot of sense in my life and my journey so I'm excited to get through this book to check in this week I lost three pounds um, so that puts me down at 280 now so one more pound to lose to get back to what I was at a couple weeks ago um, which I'm really hoping I lose at least a pound this week but you know I'm not even obsessed with the number on the scale anymore at least not this week things change from week to week um, but right now this week I have not been thinking about the scale I've been thinking about wanting to get back into the gym so that I have energy that's been my main thoughts in my head is I just want to get back to that feeling healthy again and when I'm not moving I'm just sluggish all day so um yeah three pounds uh I'm gonna finish this video up so I can jump in the shower before the girls get up <laughs> and it's a beautiful day life is good and I will talk to you guys next week